Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on a Moodle practice area. This is called Online Courses for Free, where I practice um, different things. So today I'm going to show you how to add Microsoft Teams, which is an amazing conference, webinar, and meeting room for anyone who has uh, a paid account on Microsoft. So let's get started with logging in. Notice I'm using 3.10, Moodle 3.10 with Fortson on this Moodle site. Everything is completely free. And I'm logging in using my Google. If you want to know how to enable that, let me know in the comment box below and I'll show you how. I've got a few videos on it, but if you'd like a special video just for you, let me know. And if you have any other questions, you're welcome to ask them in the comment box below. So next I'm going to go into, now this is a Fortson theme. You might have another theme and it may look slightly different, but I'm going into the admin settings or console, whatever you want to call it, site administration. And I'm going to go into First of all, search, because I have no idea whether I have this or not. Sorry about that, folks. So let me just add it to search for it. So I'm looking for MS Teams. So I get no, oops, I made a spelling mistake. So I can't really decide based on that. Let me try again. Okay, no results, which means that, let me go back into the site administration. I'm going to go into the plugins and moodle.org. Suggest you get an account on Moodle.org. That's the best place to get your plugins, see what's available, try them out by installing them directly from there. So I'm going to click on install and it'll take me to Moodle.org. On Moodle.org, notice I'm going to go into this unless I have downloaded already. And then in that case, I can go here. So I'm going into install plugins, as I said, on Moodle.org. Login, since I already have an account, login with my Google, same way, same email, even though I have a few, but I try to uh, be consistent so I don't get mixed up. I'm going to go into this area right here, the more where I'm going to get the version 3.10. Now I'm looking for Teams, but actually it's MS Teams. Let's see uh, how it comes out. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, if it doesn't, it may mean that they don't have 3.10, even though I can use, ah, but here we are. I do see it here, but even if you see it here, it might not be compatible with 3.10. So this is what we have. You also have um, a theme for 365 Teams. Okay, so let's click on Teams. We're going to get this. Notice it says download. If it says download, it means it's not compatible. Well, maybe compatible, but it hasn't been upgraded to 3.10. Let's see what versions it has by um, going into Teams. Okay, you got to be careful here, but I've been using it on my other Moodle sites, 3.10, so I know it's okay. But just for out of curiosity, let me go into 3.9 and see if Yes, it was. It went up to 3.9. So I'm going to download it in this case. Instead of installing it, just download it. I can also install it. But notice what happens when I install it since my site, um, let's look for it, is um, online courses for free. It's 3.10 here. So it doesn't show install now, which means that I may need to fix that. In any case, let me go back to my site to, as I said, choose the file and download it this way. I know it works, but you got to be careful when you're adding plugins that um, have not been upgraded. There it is. There's my it's in zip. Okay, click on it and then upload this file because you could get into trouble. So just be aware of what you what plugins you add so that uh, if things go wrong, you know which one to remove so that your system works. That's just a precaution and good um, procedures. All right, so let's go into continue. Okay, don't worry about that test. It's okay. 
that's not really a uh, problem. So if you have that, that's not a problem either. So it will wait. There it comes up. It may take a few seconds, depending on your connection, of course, and your server and how fast and so on. So notice here, I'm going to keep this. All right. Click on Save. It's really, really easy. But you may encounter problems. Things happen that may not be connected to this. So now I'm going to go into a course, my courses. As I said, this is a demo site, so I only have um, one course right now. I may add more. So uh, this is the course. I'm going to click on Turn Editing On, which is right here on this theme. As I said, Fortson. Now it's on, as you can see, so now I'm going to look for add an activity or resource, even though Teams is part of Auto. So make sure that you have Auto. I have uh, made Auto. So as you can see, it's not an activity. It's not a resource. It's just part of the system. All right, so let's go back here. So I can add it to announcements, for example. I can add it anywhere where there's an editor. So it's based on an editor. Make sure that you have auto. If you want to check that, you can go into your site administration and then just write the word editor. Okay, like that. And there are three available. Notice. The one you put at the top, notice my autos at the top, is the one that will be used. So make sure that yours is at the top. Okay, and um, it should have, let's just test it by going, it should have your Microsoft Teams. We're going to test it by going into settings. Okay, and we're looking for Microsoft Teams. There it is. See, it's there, right there. Now, I may want to put it where I want it. Okay, so we can move that around. Notice right now, Teams is, um, you have to look for it to find it. Might not even appear. So if you want any of these plugins that are not there, um this is the word that you need to add notice these are all okay <clears throat> words so let's add team meeting because it's probably not there and i can choose where i want it okay so um that's my toolbar over here all right there it is toolbar and uh, so i can put it under style well just add it anywhere you wish i'm going to put it there the top so I put a, a uh, comma and there it is so now I'm going to save it and if it's already there it'll indicate that it's a double as you can see it wasn't added all right so let's go back to our course okay um, courses site administration oh my course is here testing and we're in the course, so I'm going to go into announcements. I can go into any editor, as I said before. It doesn't matter which editor I use. I'm going to use this uh, discussion forum called announcement and um, start a new topic. Both students and teachers can do this, by the way, which is really amazing. So um, here we are. We'll just add um, T. Okay, um, I don't need to open it up, but if you do, if yours is lower down, Okay, you open up, you've got two rows here, depending on the size of your screen, of course. Could be one row. So there it is. There's Teams. Notice it's in a color, purplish. All right, and here it comes. So next, what you need to do is sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my account. Okay, so I've signed in. Notice you need to be part of an organization or you need to pay for this. All right. Notice, open a new window, add link. Okay, let's go through the whole process. So first thing, I'm going to create a meeting link. There we go. Notice I've got two here, one at 9 until 10, and now it's, well, actually, it's 9.32. So this is it, I guess. All right, so next, I'm going to click on 
create. Okay, so let's do that, create. After that, I'm going to follow the rest. So first, let's create a link. Invalid, I need to add a subject. Remember that, <laughs> the word says invalid. There's nothing there. All right, I'm going to call this test two since I had test one. Okay, now I'm going to go back to create. I've got my title. Okay, create. Click on that. Wait a few seconds until it comes up. Of course, it depends on your connection there. So notice what I have here. Go to meeting and meeting options as well as add link. Here is the link. I can open it in a new window. Very important. You choose whatever you wish. All right. So let's continue. So this is the next stage. Notice what's here. You've got open Microsoft Teams. You've got download. I'm using a Mac. That's why. Continue to this browser. Open your team app. All right. So I'm going to choose the middle one. So I click on cancel so I can get the middle. And here I am. Notice you've got all the settings here. Okay. Your custom setup. Everything is all set up for you to use. And I'm going to leave that to you to play around with it and to learn what it's about. I just want to show you that if you go into custom, okay, let's click on custom. You can get your uh, devices set up. All right. Join. And then you'll see the recording. Notice all the information on the left and um, the information over here. So let's go into join click on the join it's connecting here it comes all right so here we are notice uh what's over here okay there's this and my this and all this information now you might want to ask where is the record because that's the most important thing isn't it they're not making it very obvious so um there it is you go into that as if it's a secret, right? And there it is. There's the join. Okay, and the rest of the information is there too. So have fun. Try it out. If you have any questions, as I always say, add them to the chat box. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And um, see you online with another YouTube video. Bye for now.